Hello everybody and welcome to this video about um, Jupiter and Pluto. Um, so this is the third video where I'm trying to explain what's happening in 2020 from an astrological uh, perspective. So uh, Jupiter and Pluto are two very different planets. Uh, one is the biggest one of the solar system, except for the Sun, but the other one is the smallest one. So Jupiter, being a very big planet, is about um, exaggeration, is about extremes, is about uncontrolled growth, is about expansion, is about um, travel and bird eyes view of things, is about ethics and morals, is about anything that makes us large, is about how we we learn and we understand the world but from a higher perspective and uh, whenever jupiter is involved um, it it takes anything and and just makes it big and sometimes too big and after that there is a collapse so it it runs out it expands it runs out of steam and then it collapses again um now uh, Pluto, on the other hand, is is a planet that is very, very small. It's the smallest planet. And it is, uh, but it is very, very powerful. Pluto is linked to uh, plutonium, is linked to protons, it's um, is linked to the underworld, is linked to those things that need to be uh, transform is linked to our demons is linked to the things that we don't want to look at it's it's linked to also um, anything that comes from underground like oil and its power in its most raw sense uh, because all these things which which we bury at the end one day need to need to burst out um, and that's why Pluto is linked to transformation because by being linked to the demons by being linked to the things which are below the surface our unconscious our subconsciousness um it's linked to those things that we need to transform those things that we need to address those things that we've never really dared to look at um and this is true on a personal level as well as on a on the level of society or the level of humanity or the level of a country so it's it's very important to understand um this nature of pluto that is about transformation that is about um something new but of course to have something new something else must die so that's why pluto is linked to death and and pluto is linked to hades in in greek mythology the god of the underworld and the god of of death and when Jupiter and Pluto uh, come together, therefore, is the death of a bubble, is the death of something that was too big, is the death of, some, of something that got out of control, is the death of belief systems, and is the death of ethics and morals to be replaced by new ones. So those things need to be transformed. And... This is a cycle that happens every 12 years, more or less, every 12, 13 years. And it's funny how we've seen every 12, 13 years, there is often a crisis like there was in 2008, 2007. Uh, and there was one in 1994. That was the uh, tequila crisis, they call it. And it's the uh, devaluation of the Mexican peso. Um, so... Crisis, okay, they don't have, need to be always global like this one, but uh, they do. They do always happen when Pluto and Jupiter are are linked in some part of the globe, where perhaps something has grown too much and something has grown exponentially, and so when when Pluto and Jupiter come together, it's often about the very very small, which is represented by Pluto becoming very, very big or being very much expanded by Jupiter. That's why in this crisis, what we're seeing is a virus conquering the whole world. That's typical of Pluto and, and Jupiter. 
and that is and that is being very very powerful so a very small thing is super powerful in the way it changes societies and it's funny how it's just affecting human societies because well, all, all the rest of nature is doing absolutely fine and is actually being helped um by this by this virus so just to so that you understand a little bit um also uh historically uh the jupiter and pluto uh conjunction also happened in 1930s 1930 1931 and at the same time at that time penicillin was uh, discovered so we usually also when there is a jupiter pluto conjunction we make discoveries that are of things that are very very small or uh, we discover things that are very very far as well um we also in that at that time of the early 1930s it was a time of the big bang of the big bang theory again something very very small becoming very very big and so um Again and again as well, Pluto and Jupiter there were were linked to to the crisis of the of nineteen twenty nine and in the nineteen thirties. Why? Because again, there was something. It was a bubble needed to burst, and uh, a new a new cycle needed to begin. So, with with Pluto, we have often uh, extremes. And we have extremes which are black and white. We, we there are no gray areas. It's either it's, that it's finished, and we need to completely switch. Um, it's also I've heard the com the the phrase that Pluto and Jupiter is linked to extreme measures, and this is quite interesting. Of uh, because if you look at what's been happening uh, this year, the first uh, Pluto Jupiter uh, conjunction happened in early April. And that's when already all the lockdowns were being put in place. The second uh, Jupiter-Pluto uh, conjunction happened end of June. And we're seeing how in the US at least, uh, but also in other countries like uh, India, Mexico, um, things are getting worse. The, the virus is, getting, is going back up. There are more and more infections every day. Records are being broken again of new infections. Death rates are starting today, I was seeing, uh, to increase. Um, so it's we are seeing that, again, we're going to have to put extreme measures again. And we are seeing in, in the US some states stopping the opening, stopping the, um, the process of opening the economy because, again, the virus is, is making things difficult. And it is going to be a third conjunction. And that's why this year is very interesting, because other times there is a Jupiter-Pluto conjunction. Very often it's just a one, a one hit, because Jupiter goes over Pluto, and that's it. But this time it goes over Pluto, comes back, and goes over it again. So it's going to hit it three times. That's, when it's, that's why there is a, a retrograde. That's what we call a retrograde in, in astrology. And when that happens, it's going to make that conjunction even stronger because it's going to happen three times and it's going to happen over almost a year. Um, well, six months, really, from April until uh, November, a bit more than, than, than six months. So it's, it's a very intense period um, of changes during, during which an old system is going to die. Um, an old cycle is, is finishing and a new one is being born. So what is the, the old cycle that is, that is finishing? So uh, what we've seen over the last cycle or two is that globalization has been expanding. It has been at least since 1994. That was the beginning of a huge dri uh, drive of uh, globalization. And even in 2007, 2008, um, globalization was, again, the answer was about just trying to make sure that everybody con con consumed more and more things from all over the world and that trade was happening as much as, much as possible. Now, what we are seeing is that um, that's being put into question. The coronavirus has proven that not being able to manufacture things in your own country 
puts lives at risk, puts creates problems, means we are dependent on others and we are dependent on other people's willingness to even sell to us the goods, the PPE that we need for our own survival. So there are industries, then there are um, products that are going to be manufactured more in each country. And, and that is normal and that is part of this uh, view also that people are also trying to consume more and more local. We are moving from a global, from buying things which come from the other side of the world to being more local, to, to try and, and, and manufacture things locally. It's, it's part of what I was explaining in the previous video where we are moving away from a, um, Earth, from 200 years of material focus to in the next 200 years, which is going to be air, communication and data and ideas focused. So what we're going to exchange in the future is going to be more data, ideas, communication and much less goods. Goods was the old globalization and the new globalization is much, it's going to be much more about ideas, data and communication. So this, this um, Jupiter-Pluto conjunction fits very well with this with the, the other video that I was doing about um, Jupiter and Saturn cycles. And so that's another uh, reason why 2020 is, is that there, there, there are changes of cycles uh, happening. And that's why it's so violent because there are so many um, astrological uh, ends and beginnings happening this year and next year. So, we're going to see we're going to see uh, a new globalization um, because the old one is is dying with this uh, Pluto uh, Jupiter. We are we are seeing how quick uh, Jupiter uh, a virus has spread all over the world. This has brought travel to a standstill, and so now people are going to have to find ways of living which are completely different. And going on a holiday close by, you know, instead of the other side of the world. And as, as we saw before, that, that lifestyle was completely unsustainable. There were cities in Europe like Venice or Amsterdam that were completely over overtaken uh, by, by tourists. It was, there was already many discussions about how to limit that because it was completely unsustainable. That's typical Jupiter making something unsustainable. But then comes Pluto around and make sure that that bubble gets burst so that we can start a new cycle. Hopefully, the new cycle is a much more uh, conscious, is much more um, sustainable. That's the lesson. The lesson of Pluto and Jupiter is about making things uh, sustainable, about growing things in a sustainable way, about um, taking values and morals which are timeless which are which can be per, which can be perpetuated so all of this is is very important i want to highlight the fact that the last conjunction of of the year of jupiter and pluto is going to be linked with saturn so that's going to make it even more strong because saturn's going to be three degrees away and all of three are happening in capricorn like i was saying in the previous uh, video uh, this year is all about Capricorn because Saturn is very very strong there and in November uh, we're going to have this triple conjunction in Capricorn and that's when we're going to really have to face the death of the old system and the birth of a new one. A new one because the structures are going to change, um, the beliefs are going to change, the morals are going to change um, and that's Pluto. That's pure Plutonian power transforming uh, Jupiter, so the beliefs that we have in society and, and what we hold dear, and, and the structures of society, actually, which is, which is Saturn. So, uh, all that just to tell you that there is, yeah, there is a new, a new cycle coming, but first there's one that needs to die. And I hope this was uh, informative, hope it was helpful, and there will be 
a few more uh, to come. Thank you.